Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be sharing an article that I wrote approximately a week and a half ago. I have felt led to write a series of articles and consequently have not had time to create video presentations. Over the next several days, I'm going to be creating video presentations of articles that I've written during the past 10 days or so. To read today's article, I'll put my glass back on and bring up the article. I want to thank you for your time. You're an important part of my process, and I always enjoy our times together. Here's the article, EEGs, Neuropsychological Evaluations, and Brain Injury Recovery Outcomes. For your information, the blue links within this article are links to previous articles that I've written for Second Chance to Live. The articles will give further insight into what I discuss in the below article. Click on the blue links to open and read the article. As you read the articles and questions arise, please send those questions to me. All questions are good questions. Hello and welcome back to Second Chance to Live. I'm happy to have you around my table. Over the weekend, I engaged myself in a discussion that opened the door that I kept closed. As the door opened, I realized that I needed to further engage myself in the discussion. As with each article that I write and publish on Second Chance to Live, my motivation is to share from my experience, strength, and hope from the power of identification. And that's one of the blue highlighted words. I believe that identification empowers each individual to come out of the shadows of isolation by realizing that they are not alone in their struggle to understand their lives and as an individual who is living with an injury to their brain. A question was posited concerning the experience of individuals regarding neuropsychological evaluations. In 1968, I underwent two EEGs and a neuropsychological evaluation when I was 10 years old. Some 29 years later, I found out the results from my mom, who shared them with me, and th those results showed that I would probably not be able to succeed beyond high school academically. In 1993, I underwent another EEG and a neuropsychological evaluation. The results were shared with me that showed that I succeeded far beyond all reasonable expectations through sheer persistence and motivation. I was later deemed to be unemployable by the Department of, Department of Vocational Rehabilitation Evaluation. If you're not familiar with my story, I went on to get my undergraduate degree in 10 years and my graduate degree in three and a half years, and I have a master's degree in rehabilitation counseling from the University of Kentucky in Lexington, Kentucky. In preparation for a keynote presentation that I was going to be giving in October of 2013, I wrote an article to share some background information with individuals attending the presentation, being that I would only have 25 to 30 minutes to present. In this article, I shared that I ex uh, shared what I experienced since my first two EGs, EEGs and neuropsychological evaluation through my third EEG and second neuropsychological evaluation, and then up to the date of writing the article in preparation of the keynote presentation that I gave at the 2013 Southwest Conference on Disability. I would invite you to read the article that, that I wrote in preparation by clicking on this link. And I have a, a Word article you can click on in the event that you'd like to read the detailed background information concerning my story and the uh, plight, um, what I over, I've overcome and faced. And the reason I share the above information with you is to encourage you to live your life to the full regardless of what the results, findings may show from an EEG or a neuro uh, neuropsychological evaluation or several of them. 
that you may undergo as a result of your traumatic brain injury or brain injury that you sustained as a result of a stroke or an acquired brain injury uh, due to other reasons. Lessons I learned from uh, my undergoing three EG EEGs and two, excuse me, two neuropsychological evaluations. An EEG and a neuropsychological evaluation can give us insight into how our brain and personality have been affected by the brain injury. But they do not have to define who we are, my friend. We can live outside and beyond the box that an EEG or neuropsychological evaluation and subsequent reports may communicate to us. We can succeed far beyond all reasonable expectations through sheer persistence, tenacity, and motivation by not giving up on our process of loving God or ourselves. More will be revealed to us in time. We can learn to use our passions, another highlighted word, through our gifts, talents, and abilities in ways that will work for us for the people who want what we have to give. Consequently, Excuse me, consequently, my friend, we can run our own race at our own pace. That's a highlighted word, pace. We can celebrate our efforts. Celebrate is highlighted. We can map our own course, which is highlighted, and be ourselves, another highlighted word. We can live in hope, another highlighted word, and we can live our dreams, which is also a highlighted word here in the article. This is the end of the article. I want to thank you for your time. Before I go, let me encourage you with this, my friend. Please do not give up on yourself, a loving God, or your process, because more will be revealed in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day, and God bless both you and your family. So long now.